Hello guys, it is EA Info here. If you are not familiar with our channel, here we discuss technology and life hacks for the improvement of our lives. Today we're talking about the different types of cyber crimes that are affecting individuals, businesses, and organizations around the world. The rise of the internet has brought about new opportunities and advancements, but it has also made us more vulnerable to cyber crimes. Before we start, please check out our previous video about cybersecurity, so you will have more understanding of today's video. Let's take a look at the most common types of cyber crimes and what we can do to protect ourselves. Phishing, this is one of the most common types of cyber crime. Phishing involves tricking individuals into revealing sensitive information, such as passwords or credit card numbers, through fake emails or websites that appear to be from a trusted source. To defend yourself from phishing, it's important to be cautious of unsolicited emails and to never click on links or download attachments from unknown sources. Malware, this is any software designed to cause harm to a computer system, including viruses, spyware, and adware. To protect yourself from malware, it's important to use antivirus software and to be cautious of unsolicited emails and links. Ransomware, this type of cybercrime involves infecting a computer system with malware that encrypts the victim's data and demands a ransom payment to restore access. To protect yourself from ransomware, it's crucial to keep your software up to date, have strong passwords, and back up your data regularly. Identity theft. This occurs when criminals steal personal information, such as social security numbers, birthdates, and addresses, to open credit accounts or perform other financial transactions in someone else's name. To prevent identity theft, it's important to be careful with your personal information and to use strong passwords and two-factor authentication whenever possible. Hacking. This involves unauthorized access to a computer system or network to steal or alter sensitive information. To protect yourself from hacking, it's important to use strong passwords and keep your software up to date, as well as to be cautious of unsolicited emails and links. Distributed denial of service or DDoS attacks. In this type of cybercrime, attackers overload websites or servers with traffic, rendering them inaccessible. To protect yourself from DDoS attacks, it's important to use a reputable web hosting service that has robust security measures in place. Botnets. A botnet is a network of infected computers that can be used to launch DDoS attacks or send spam messages. To protect yourself from botnets, it's important to use antivirus software and to keep your software up to date. Cyberstalking. This is the use of technology to harass, threaten, or intimidate an individual. To protect yourself from cyberstalking, it's important to be careful with the information you share online and to report any instances of cyberstalking to the authorities. Cyberbullying. This is the use of technology to bully, harass, or intimidate someone, often a minor. To protect yourself from cyberbullying, it's important to be cautious of the information you share online, to block or report any individuals who are harassing you, and to seek help if you need it. Intellectual property theft. This involves the unauthorized copying, distribution, or sale of proprietary software, music, movies, or other digital content. To protect yourself from intellectual property theft, it's important to be careful with the information and content you share online and to seek legal counsel if necessary. That is all for today. Thank you for watching this video. If it helped you to understand the tech world better, please subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with friends. Leave the comments below. To see more interesting things, check out our previous videos. See you in the next video.